Hi, this is Drew with Daniels Ag Services with your morning report. Markets finished up mixed yesterday. You had corn and beans higher while wheat was lower on the day. All currently lower this morning to get the day started. We do get the latest WASDE report out at 11 a.m. Central today. So let's go over the numbers. We went over them yesterday, but we'll go over them one more time to make sure you're prepared here. So we're going to go over yield, production, and then 2015 or 14 15 ending stock estimates. So Yield expectations, the average trade estimate is 174.7 bushels per acre. We got 171.7 from the USDA in September. Bean yield expectation, average trade estimate is 47.6 bushels per acre versus 46.6 in September. So both higher yield estimates that we got from the USDA in September. Production is the average trade estimate of 14.506 billion bushels. That's raised from September's USDA number of 14.395. Beans are expected to come in at 3.976 billion bushels versus 3.913 uh, in September. So sticking with the theme from yield, production is expected to come in higher than September. Ending stocks for corn is expected to come in at 2.130 billion bushels versus 2.002 in September, so a little higher. Uh, the only estimate lower that we've got on the board here at least is bean ending stocks. The average trade estimate is 4.72 million bushels versus what we got in September of 4.75. And then wheat is expected to come, ending stocks are expected to come at four, or 704 million bushels versus 698 in September. So again, if you want to take a look at the whole range of estimates in a table format that will be in the Wilkins Aguar and also on Grain Analyst under the daily report, also can't stress this enough, the real-time USDA section on the Grain Analyst website all you got to do is click refresh on that page at 11 a.m. and it will populate all the U.S. numbers. So everything we went over on the whiteboard there will be covered on the USDA real-time analysis section of the Grain Analyst website. The only thing it doesn't have is global numbers. So if you want the global ending stocks, uh, you would need or just any global numbers in general, you need to go to the WASD page to get that. But anything based in the U.S., be able to get right off that USDA real-time analysis page on the Grain Analyst website. So it's a great tool. It's free. So it doesn't cost you anything to get it. You don't have to have a premium subscription to access that. So go check that out if you want to see real time what the numbers are saying. Because sometimes the WASD report can get a little backlogged when you're trying to load that thing up and uh, and search the numbers. Because so many people are trying to do it at the same time. So if you've got anything before the report you need, you want, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you post report with a uh, recap and let you know how the trade reacted based on what the numbers said. So thanks. See you later this afternoon. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the Risk Disclosure Access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.